Well, once again, good friends. Welcome, new subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. We haven't touched upon wheels and tires for quite some time, so let's take a look at the Adams wheel and tire um, line of products. You can get it as a whole kit. You can get them individually. Let's head out to the shop and get this thing going. All the products and tools here can be sold as a kit from Adams. Between 140 and 150, depending on what you add or uh, subtract from the kit. You can add the wheel cleaner. I like to make my own. I'm going to show you how to make your own from the supplies we have here. These can also all be sold individually. All right, let's start right here with the full-size angled wheel woolly. Soft black and red wool fibers. Very lightweight, very sturdy. This one here is $24.99. We have the mini version of the angled wheel woolly, again the soft wool fibers. This one here is $22.99. We have the tire shine applicator. We have the soft bristled wheel brush, short handled stubby, $21.99. This one here has stiffer bristles, again short handle. This one is also a stubby. This is for your tires. This one here is $10.99. And finally, when it comes to the wheel bucket, I also like to have the grit guard insert for that as well. $10.99. I don't like any of my brushes, any of my woolies coming in contact with the bottom of the bucket and the very abrasive brake dust that we wash off from the wheel and could be introduced back into the bucket. Okay, when it comes to the chemicals, we have the tire and rubber cleaner, 16 ounces for $12.99. Great for tires, rubber, plastic trim, cleaning them from excess oils, waxes, sealants, or prepping them for a coating or protection or conditioner of their own. The all-purpose cleaner, $12.99 for 16 ounces, can be used at full strength for places like maybe under the hood, around the reservoir for the power steering or the brake cylinders, um, wheel wells, undercarriage, can by, be diluted for interior work or traffic film or your lighter duties. The Adams Iron Remover, perfect for going after ferrous metals, embedded ferrous metals, 16 ounces for $14.99. And finally, we have the Adams Tire Shine, $14.99 for 16 ounces. This is perfect um, for those who like the glossy look, two coats. If you like the nice, dark, rich color of a new tire with no gloss, one coat, and then go over it with a microfiber to kick it back. Adams has their own wheel cleaner. If you are in a pinch, just want to make your own, I'm going to show you how right here. We're going to grab the Adams All-Purpose Cleaner. Two ounces of that in the container first. Okay, next, two ounces of the Adams Iron Remover. Now, as long as you're staying within the family of a certain chemical line, you could do the exact same thing with the all-purpose cleaner and the iron remover. Makes a fantastic wheel cleaner. And then, of course, fill the remainder of that bottle with tap water. And I also like to have an ounce of each in the brush bucket or the wheel and tire kit bucket as well. Work with the rubber and tire cleaner first. We'll do a little test area on this big truck wheel. And here we have another nasty car tire. Okay, so we just spray this on, let it dwell. I wanna bring you in just to show just throughout the first few seconds of me spraying this on there. Then we pull the tire brush out of the bucket.
agitate it, and rinse. And we'll do the same thing to this tire here. Half with our homemade wheel cleaner. Half with the rubber tire. And you can just see the nastiness coming off that tire. Very effective. And as it's drying, you could see how effective it was on this old tire that's been back here for years. And what it's done on this nasty tire here, uh, just with some quick agitation. Go over it again and uh, get in between the intricate designs on the sidewall of the tire here, and you're good to go. Very effective. When it comes to the wheel and tire set, get the rubber and tire cleaner on there. Get our wheel cleaner that we put together sprayed on there. We'll pull the tire brush out first, go after the rubber. We'll get the wheel brush out next with the nice soft bristles. Work the face of the wheel. When it comes to the wheel woolies, giving you a shot through the back of the wheel. give you an idea how they come in behind the spoke, grab the barrel of the wheel, flip it, skip a couple spokes coming through, get the back, get the barrel, get the back of the spokes, skip a couple more, and just repeat the process. If you have a wheel with a more intricate design and a tighter spoke design, get the smaller angled wheel woolly, and you can do exactly the same thing. Rinse the wheel thoroughly. And there you go. All right, when it comes to the tire shine, spray a little bit on the applicator. We'll do half of the tire, a bit glossy, and the other half, we'll give it that nice new tire look. Massage it into all those little ribs and the intricate designs, the lettering on the sidewall. Okay, so as you can see, that one coat will give it the new um, satin, new tire look. And if you want to go just a bit glossier. I do have a percentage of my customers that enjoy the 
glossy look. That's when a second layer goes on. And there you have it. And for the final thoughts segment of the video, the end tire kit as a whole, very effective. Guys, when it comes to wheels and tires, when it comes to iron removers, when it comes to some products, don't overthink it. There are so many other areas of a detail or a correction or a restoration where you could put a lot of time and thought into the process. But when it comes to some of these areas, just go with what works for you. Pick a line. If, it, if it's effective, is, if you're successful using it, stay with it especially if it's affordable. This whole line here as a kit or individually, it's right on par when it comes to pricing um, as you're coming into detailing, just starting a business or starting to take care of your own car. I would look into this kit. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.